Good morning guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you pregnancies do's and don'ts. Um, this will be a very good video for first time moms um, that are just trying to figure out what is allowed during pregnancy and what is not allowed. Um, I remember as a first time mom and even being pregnant in my second second time, I already forgot what is allowed and what is not. And always having those questions, you know, I want to do the best for my baby and have my baby be healthy and not risk anything. And just, I wanted to do this video. So I will start out with probably just do's and then I will um, then I will do don'ts. So first one, obvious one, is prenatal vitamins. Obviously take them, uh, do your research, try and find good organic raw whole food prenatals. Those will be obviously better for you. Um, also DHA. A uh, second one is um, healthy diet alone um, oh, why you need prenatal vitamins is that a healthy diet alone may not be enough for your pregnancy as your baby needs vitamins you need vitamins your body's working hard so just with food alone that is not enough for you and your baby I'm looking on my journal if you guys are wondering why I'm looking down so uh, sleep. So fatigue is a sign your body needs rest. First and third trimester are times to most. Rest seven to nine hours of sleep. So in my first trimester, oh, I was super tired and exhausted. I have no energy whatsoever and I would be sleepy constantly. So my body was telling me that I needed to take naps sleep longer to just rest and not overwork myself or even work at all because my body was really working hard and it needed rest to help this little baby develop and grow in me uh next one is workout so it's kind of opposite of sleeping um, but workout is also important in pregnancy like you know it doesn't mean a hard workout it could mean going on a 10 minute walk or a 15 however long walk you can doing some light exercises help it could help with insomnia muscle pain mood can decrease um, also labor time can also decrease with uh, keeping active in your pregnancy uh, seafood is also good in pregnancy omega-3 zinc good for mom and baby um, obviously with that I will say no raw fish um, and also look of what kind of fish and seafood you can um, no more than 12 ounces of fish a week um, and I think like swordfish shark um, they say to stay away because they are high in mercury. So when you look, um, fish high in mercury. So you should avoid. You should avoid those. Um, also, another um, next is um, visiting your dentist is also a do. It is good to keep your oral health important um, healthy because you can have if you if you have some kind of infection or something going on with your teeth it can actually go negative it could be negative towards your pregnancy so making sure your teeth are healthy and there's nothing um, serious that is going on so yeah Uh, 
last one I think I have is last one for do's is wash your fruits and vegetables very well before you eat them to get off any pesticides or when they were picked up you know there was bugs and stuff on them just good to wash your fruits and your vegetables especially that you're pregnant you should pay attention to that uh, now switching over to the do don'ts um, smoking and alcohol can lower birth weight and may um, cause disabilities so don't do that um, also can do cause behavioral problems as well um, raw meat can cause foodborne illnesses food poisoning that can cause birth defects and even miscarriage so that is why we don't eat raw meat when we're pregnant um, deli meat can also cause foodborne illness um, it is okay if you cook it really good thoroughly um, so not just throwing it in microwave probably um, but better to do it on a pan for a long time um, to make sure that the any bacteria or anything will die um, also unpasteurized milk products can have bacteria that can make you ill and cause um, difficulties in pregnancy that is why we don't have let that's why you don't take that is why don't eat like brie cheese um, soft cheeses feta cheese I think is in there um, and like yeah unpasteurized milk or milk products medication so ask your OB doctor before taking any herbal or other medication other than if he told you those are fine um, avoiding NyQuil ibuprofen Lomatel um, little amounts of Tylenol is okay um, that is all that I have on here and then um, if you are wanting to take any other medication just call your OB and ask him if they're okay. Avoid raw sprouts, fish with mercury, or shark, swordfish, tilefish, tuna in moderation. So I have the fish here. Uh, don't drink more than one cup of 12 ounce cup. Don't drink more than one cup of coffee like a 12 ounce size uh, hot tubs and saunas um, have an increased miscarriage and risk of birth defects in your first trimester probably can also be in the second trimester avoid heavy or prolonged exposure to household chemicals use mask or ventilation if painting with lead based paint or just overall painting hair color are not determined to be safe or unsafe so they so i would probably say at least avoid it in your first and second trimester where the baby is doing the most development um but it is not determined to be unsafe but i still wouldn't risk it and yeah, that is all I have for do's and don'ts. I'm sure there might be more, but those are like the general um, big ones for pregnancy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.